Good morning. This is uh, Pursuing God's Heart, a simple, biblical, relevant thought for you that hopefully can be an encouragement. Yesterday I preached from uh, the book of Romans uh, to Trinity Chippenham, and uh, I'll put the links for those uh, the message uh, in the description below. But here's a very simple, uh, kind of shortened version, Romans chapter 4. Uh, Paul is writing about the fact that we as, as humans all lack the righteousness of God, and yet he gives us as a gift uh, of his grace, our right, uh, his righteousness, as we trust him and believe for it. So in verse four of chapter four, he says to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. And to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. That's an amazing thought, God, who justifies the ungodly. What that means is not simply that sins are forgiven, but also that the full righteousness of Christ is set against our name. It's a declaration that God is willing to make. And this is right at the heart of the Christian faith. Uh, Christianity is not about traditions and buildings and lifestyle choices or even morality. It's about the offer of life, uh, the offer of, uh, of this crediting of righteousness that God is willing to make for us as we trust him and are brought into his family and so he gives two examples in the surrounding context he talks about David a man who sinned greatly but was able to say blessed is the one whose sins are not counted against him and on the other side of it verses one two and three Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness and so we can uh, go from being evaluated by God based on our sins and our, everything we've thought and done. And we can instead not have our sins counted against us, but have his righteousness counted as ours. It's an amazing thought. Just think of the implications of that for us. Uh, because of that, it means that if we are in Christ, there is now therefore no condemnation. Chapter 8, verse 1. It also means that since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God. Uh, Romans 5 verse 1. And so that, that double reckoning of, of sins not counted, but his righteousness counted, it's a declaration that God makes that gives us absolute certainty and peace with God. We know where we stand, which means, if necessary, ultimately it's necessary but even so soon short-term context if necessary we're ready to die if we've trusted in Christ we know that we can come before God and we will not be judged and evaluated based on our sins but based on his righteousness it gives us a security and a peace and an ability to give to others and we're surrounded by people that need that we're in a world right now that is increasingly aware of its own mortality and as people are facing that and wondering what comes next, we need to make sure that we're offering not just the kindness of sharing, uh, shopping and you know, practical help. We need to share the kindness of, of telling them what Christianity is all about, what the Bible tells us about our God's willingness in his grace to declare not guilty, not condemned, but the full righteousness of Christ. That's an amazing thought. The one who justifies the ungodly is willing to, to say, let it, let it be uh, recorded. Let it go down in the record. Officially, this person is not condemned, but has the full righteousness of Christ marked against their name. If, if you're a follower of Jesus, that is true of you. And if you're not, it can be. You can't earn it. You can't be good enough for it but simply trusting that when Jesus died on the cross, it was to make possible that declaration. That's right at the heart of the Christian faith, and I hope it will be a comfort and an encouragement to your heart for yourself and also to share it with others as well. Thank you.